Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Finn, or yet another gaming fail, and I am here once again with another episode of my DCS Mission Editor tutorials. Um, so, we've covered a whole host of stuff, um, so now I'm going to try and go into some more minute details for and help you with uh, picking and setting up your missions and also just generally making your life easier. Uh, so, first of all, uh, let's get to it. We're going to cover loadouts. So, loadouts... A lot of people I don't think actually use them um, when it comes to the editor. What they like to do is they just make um, they make an aircraft and then just chuck a bunch of items. Well, items. They chuck a bunch of missiles or air ground munitions or air to air munitions or whatever onto their aircraft and then just send players packed in with that as their as their their default thing. So um, what I like to do is I like to build loadouts because it makes my my life a hell of a lot easier. I can build a mission in like, you know, 20 minutes with, you know, presets and loadouts. I did my previous video on presets. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to just whack down an aircraft here. I'm going to change it to be a, um, let's have a look. Uh, let's go with a Hornet, just because I know the Hornet and I like it. Uh, I'm going to go down to the waypoints here and just change it to take off and ramp. Uh, and then let's go over to the loadouts, which is the next tab over from the waypoints. And here we go. So, uh, first thing you'll notice about the loadout screen, if you haven't already seen it, is that you have the plane or any aircraft that you're using in the middle here. Um, this is a new addition. Uh, it used to be down in the bottom right hand corner, and it's very hard to see what it actually was. And it didn't update if you added munitions, but a couple months ago, um, this is of as of uh, October of 2021. They updated it so that we now have uh, the ability to see aircraft, and then if we change their loadout, you can see it adds items on. Cool. So that's the first thing up at the top here. The next thing is this line up at the top above the uh, above the payload sections. You've got the paint scheme options. So you could, for example, pick the RAF livery that me and uh, Frenchy use as our custom thing, uh, or uh, if you're feeling premium, there's uh, some. So very cool skins out there on the uh, DCS user files, so I highly recommend checking those out uh, because you end up with some fun things like this bright gold one. Um, but anyway, we'll just stick with my RAF one for the second. So, we've got the livery. That is the first thing. That's this drop down menu here up, up in the middle. Now, the next thing is payload restriction. So if we click payload restriction, you will see uh, that it changes uh, this bit at the bottom here. Now, the bit that we have to start with are the pre-built payloads. Uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. But once we tick it, it goes through a list of every single like option for pylons on this aircraft. So you'll see that there are some things where they're ticked only for one side or for one pylon or something like that. What this is telling you is that uh, the aircraft can only fit these munitions listed here on the left on these pylons in you know positions nine eight seven six five four three two one. Um, obviously, when when you're looking at it front on, this is how it's selected. So nine is on your left hand side and one is on your right hand side, and that's how you select those pylons. And then basically, you know, from everyone from one, you work further inboard, and then when you get to five. Everything upwards up to nine, you work outboard on the opposite wing. Um, so you basically you can see here that, for example, the lightning targeting pod is currently only capable of going on a chin station or on a center pylon. Uh, it's listed as two different things because they use two different mounting uh, like kind of mechanisms, uh, which is why why that's the case. Um, you also have the data link pod, which can go in any of these settings, and pretty much like you can see, like it tells you what you can fit on what pylons. Now, not massively, massively useful, um, you know, when it comes to just looking at it and going right. Let's, uh, you know, let's sort out what we need. But uh, it does give you some good information for if you want to build either asymmetric loadouts or if you want to build a loadout and you're not exactly sure what can go on what pylons. Generally, I run by just going and editing the the, uh, the payload and seeing how we go. Right, moving on then to presets. So first of all, you'll notice that despite the fact that the FA-18C is a multi-role aircraft, i.e. it can take both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions, 
uh, it can be deployed in you know a whole host of different scenarios it only seems to have air-to-air -air missiles and bags as options now the reason why is because if you see up on the top right under airplane group when you've got the airplane selected you'll have the name the condition country and then task now task is the important bit at the moment we're set to cap or combat air patrol um, we can change it to CAS or close air support and you can see that we've got some standard close air support loadouts there uh, we can change it to uh, ground attack which opens up a few more options here uh, and we can change it to pinpoint strike which gives us some more guided uh, munition related stuff so basically you can see that the important part of um, of selecting what you want your aircraft to do is uh, is actually giving it a, uh, a mission uh, and thus you can select the strike package around that now there we go in terms of you know if you want to pick one of the pre-built presets for your missions now the next thing is that if you want to make sure that you can have a consistent payload between different missions then what you want to do is you basically want to and if I just come in here and say so we've got down at the bottom we've got new copy delete and rename so if you hit new and let's call this one Brian um, Brian here will start as blank uh, let's add in just some random stuff so like well why not let's add in some JSAOs uh, there we are uh, let's add in an AMRAM why not and maybe some bags there um, and then air to air missiles mm, let's say uh, a sidewinder let's just check some sidewinders on there uh, and then on the wingtips let's go with some countermeasure pods or something like that cool great so you know bit of a wacky payload probably not something you'd actually run with in real life but that's just something that we've chucked together so I've done that by right clicking any of these just like you would when you're editing your payload when you're on the ground so you just right click it and you click through until you've selected uh, what you want so you right click this and then you hover over and then just left click on whatever you want your option to be nice and simple there if you want to copy that you click copy and you can call that we'll call it copy Brian you see it just creates a copy of whichever one you have highlighted uh, and then if you want to delete that you can just click delete um, and then if you want to edit that you can rename it and call it Dave instead uh, because obviously Dave is a superior name to Brian um, and then the next thing that we're going to do I'm not actually going to do this one but you can click export and basically what export will do will mean that uh, if you want to keep your loadouts consistent mission to mission and you don't want to have to keep right clicking through all of these then it will export this payload uh, out to the standard set of payloads for uh, this aircraft um, across any role so for example I put this one on pinpoint strike um, and obviously this one is in here under pinpoint strike here and it's on the FA-18 if I was to hit export then in the future I could take any FA-18 and I could set the task to be pinpoint strike and as long as they're allowed to use these munitions then uh, it will place them in uh, as an option here for you to pick from great cool so that's it that that's all you really need to know in terms of the loadouts um, the the other things to add are exactly as you would have on any other aircraft when you're doing a payload uh, change in the middle of a mission uh, is you have your fuel capacity here as well uh, if you have rounds then you have a slider here uh, you can change the the gun um, what's it so sorry that's the max weight slider what am I on about uh, you can change the gun percentage here so that's how many percent percentage of rounds you have uh, and then you can change the the weapon uh, the gun type uh, and then you can change how many chaps and flares you've got that's it guys that's all you really need to know uh, when it comes to loadouts uh, there are ways of immediately editing loadouts through scripts the other benefit of it is that if you come under triggers here you I'm pretty sure there's also a change loadout or uh, loadout set option uh, I, I won't scroll through and find it just to, to keep it brief um, but yeah my name is Finn I have been yet another gaming fail I thank you guys for watching and I hope that you all have a lovely day Alright, tatty bye.